Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a video on my planner setup. Um, I think I filmed one or I tried to film one a year ago and I actually never posted it because uh, partly because I was still kind of working on a setup that worked for me and now that I have found one I wanted to kind of go over what I've used in the past, what made me want to change over to my current planner, which is the Midori passport size in the brown leather. Because now that I have been in this for going on almost a year now, it really works for me. I'm going to set this aside and kind of go over what I used to use. So similar in size to the passport Midori, I started out with kind of the cheaper planners that you could get at Barnes & Noble with the spirals. I went through different kinds of phases, but in college and then in my earlier 20s, I stuck with the Moleskin planner setup, which is similar in size, which I really liked. I very much like this kind of pocket size. I like that it had a band. This is an old one. This was a hard cover. Um, I think I've gone through variations of hard and soft cover. And so it had kind of like a different kind of timetable setup, different tables and um, year spread look previous year and then going on the next year. Flight durations, things like that, which was okay, but a lot of that information wasn't stuff that I utilized, so I kind of used that as just blank paper to write notes or scribble notes on. So I had everything on this side for the week, and then I would have just kind of notes and scribbles, reminders and things like that on the next page, which I really liked. I liked that setup. It worked out. And then it comes with a pocket that you can slip in things, so I kind of use that as keeping coupons and reminders and everything else. And it has an address book slip in, which I really enjoyed. That was handy. And I really liked the fact that it came with an address book feature, so you could use that separately to keep all of your doctor's information, addresses, important numbers, things like that. That was all in there. So there is the Moleskin planner that I've used. I've used these for quite a few years, and that really worked out. But I was looking for something kind of like a change, and the Filofax thing kind of was discovered, and I watched a lot of videos on it, but I didn't really want to spend that much on a planner, and then I think ended up spending just about the same amount on this Kiki K, because the aesthetic really appealed to me, I really loved the color, and so I got, I think this is the regular size Kiki K planner, much larger than the moleskin planner that I had used. So that was definitely something to get used to. I think I used this for a year and has the same band, which I like the feature of. And then because this was kind of like the whole planner setup and everything was very new to me, I kind of went crazy with like keeping post-it notes and sticky notes and tabs and little decorations and things like that and all these pockets. It has the ring binder on it. Ended up putting little doodads on there. So these little guys I was collecting and kept them there. Created a dashboard with lots of sticky notes, which I never ended up using. I made my own little dividers used stickers for things, and there was the address book section, had a note section, and then later on, I think I just slipped this in there because I had so much leftover paper, which I'm not using now, and then there was the divider for getting to the calendar section. came with this feature, which I really liked, that I could snap in and out of. That was pretty much for me to kind of find where my calendar started and had bookmarks and a bunch of other things. This got heavy. That's the one thing I really didn't like. Um, it, it was nice to have the pen loop, which I didn't really use too much because it didn't fit every pen uh, that I liked using. 
I did end up buying one that kind of, it was like a ballpoint pen that matched the color of this, um, which I'm not a really big fan of ballpoint pens, so it didn't really end up using. It was just kind of there for decoration. But that's the thing. This got really bulky. This got really heavy if you loaded it up with things. Even without all of that, and I just used, say, the calendar and maybe some notes in the address book, it was still bulky, which in the end just didn't work out for me. It was just kind of burdensome to carry this back and forth to work. If I would kept this at work, I would have in my office, but it's just, for me, my planner, my personal information always has to come with me. I kept it in kind of like a cotton bag that I made myself that I stamped myself, and I just used that as like to keep everything pristine, which I like. Um, especially with something that looks like this, I'd want to keep it pristine. So it didn't really work out, and then I ended up moving to the pocket size Kiki K planner in the lavender with the diamond foil on it. Sadly, I don't have that with me to show you. It's uh, in storage, I think, but it's very similar in size to this, and it was a it was just a little bit thinner, but still bulky, and it was still the ring style, and I used this, which is an Orla Kylie for Target bag. This came in a set of three, and this was the medium size. That Kiki K pocket size planner fit perfectly in this, and I used that to keep that planner pristine and nice, but with all of that in there, my address book, my planner section, the little notepad and everything with this, plus a little bag of like pens and whatnot, that became too bulky for me. So I think I'd use that for another year before I switched over to the passport size. I find that this is a lot more compact, it's a lot lighter, it's slimmer, and I, it carries everything that I need. It has all the features that I need, and it's very much a simplified version of everything that I tried to use in this and then the other Kiki K, because when I was using both of those, I kind of got into that whole planner craze where I was like trying to decorate and trying to make an elaborate color coding system and stamping, and that's just not me. It Really, in the end, a planner is something that's functional for me, and I need it to be functional and simple. So that's why I've moved into this. And so I've got the band on it. I've got a charm that says, Somebody Loves You. I got that from, I think, Joanne's in the charm section or the jewelry section. Regular pen loop with my favorite Uniball Vision pen. When you open it up, I am terrible with developing photos, but I really will want to put some photos in there. And then I've got a charm from a Buddhist temple that I got from years ago. A happy scrappy notepad that I've just kind of slipped over the insert. It's not really winter themed. I don't have a winter themed one, but it doesn't matter. It just kind of does its job. So if I need to write uh, groceries or reminders for myself, it's all right here. And then I've got a little post-it note with like different abbreviations of all the different vitamins that I need to keep track of. And if you've watched my journal uh, setups, you know that I like to use these art stickers to kind of stick in this box. So I do the same with my planner. And then when I flip it over, I've got a Woodstock paper clip that I like to use for finding my place, as well as this bookmark there. Um, just flipping through. What I like about this is it's got kind of a big section for each day that I can write a lot of notes in. So I've got a lot going on there. I can put that down. I've got reminders. I can put that down. But then what I also like is it's got the same size for the weekend days because sometimes you do have a lot going on your weekends. Running errands, get-togethers, family dinners, whatnot. And I also like that it's got a same size box for any notes or whatever for that week. I didn't do too much decorating. Um, I kind of just went through and used up a lot of diary stickers and whatnot. I'm not one of those people that needs to have my planner pristine or whatever because I'm not archiving this. In the end, at the end of the year, I throw this away. I don't need to refer to it. I might keep it if there's a lot, you know, there were some important things that went on that year, but... 
I'm not archiving this in any way. It doesn't have to be pretty to me. It's really just supposed to be functional. And so I've just kind of gone willy-nilly with my stickers. I do have a system though for how I color code certain things and I will say that instead of, you know, buying inserts for the Kiki K that have everything already printed out for you, for the inserts like this, I these you do have to fill out. So I filled out everything by hand. Not a big problem. I just spent, you know, a couple hours doing this and decorating. I did go in with some little Korean diary stamps and stamped in little like birthdays and reminders, date nights, little just kind of things. Happy Scrappy um, stickers made it in here, Korean Diary stickers kind of went in there. So no real decorating theme, it's not that important for me. So the only thing that I have a system of for is on each day for to keep track of like my vitamins because I'm terrible at really taking them all the time. I will write in the coordinating color. Um, I use red for my health uh, tracking. I will write down all the abbreviations uh, for all the vitamins that I've taken each day. And whether I'm doing the apple cider vinegar detox every day, I'll keep track of that too. I have a bunny paper clip to kind of keep the last page intact with the cover so it just doesn't flip around. And I added a notebook. Last year I didn't. Last year I just had the planner section in here, but I find that sometimes when I've got lulls of, you know, quiet time or something, or I'm waiting somewhere, I've got a little bit of time, I like to scribble ideas or blog post uh, little tidbits and stuff like that video ideas. I'd like to have a notebook for that instead of having just loose pieces of paper or find a post-it note for that. And so I attached a second notebook. It's just the blank paper insert and I've got blog post ideas and I'm um, writing blog posts longhand just kind of getting rough drafts in there. So I like having that feature in here this year so I have something to work on. And then in this back pocket here which is attached to this front section I have a keep calm and carry on journal card in there. I really don't keep too much. I keep some sticky notes, I think, um, because I don't have an address book insert or anything in here. I've got a few pieces of paper folded up with important addresses and numbers to keep with me. And then I've got a little uh, Teresa Collins Dream Bigger uh, clear plastic piece there as just kind of like a motivational thing. I know it's not 2015 anymore, but I got this at a Happy Scrappy um, order. It came free. It comes in real handy because I didn't like that this pressed into this pocket so much, and so anything in there got warped. And when I came across this in my stuff, it just per worked out perfectly because it sits perfectly in there and it kind of keeps it from ruining anything in there. And so I'm hoping maybe to track down something for 2016 or the years to come, or just a plastic piece that kind of does the same thing. Honestly, it doesn't bother me if it's just the 2015 one. Um, it's just there to kind of be functional in that way. And everything is just nice and together in here. I love the size. I love that it's scratched up, so I don't really care to keep it in a bag and keep it pristine, which I really like. I don't have to worry about it. I just throw it in my bag. And I really like this setup. And then going into what I carry, I've really streamlined this into what works for me in terms of pens. It's a J. Crew case that I got at the outlet. I don't think it's available anymore. I once linked it and it no longer was on the site. So, but I've got a Muji pen, this is blue, um, that's for anything that involves me and Brian together, like date nights and whatnot. This lavender Le Pen is for any notes to myself, or if it's just me time um, that I'm marking in the calendar. Orange for family, green for loans, payments, banking, money, anything that involves that. A Sharpie for 
writing on post-its or sticky notes that have like a sticky surface that always comes in handy and then red for health and uh, really important uh, events. So that's pretty much all my color coding that I use works for me. In here I really don't keep too much. I keep the post-it um, tabs. This is the stuff that I use that would require the Sharpie to write on. And some little Korean diary stickers, washi um, sticker sheets. That really hasn't changed for the past year. And it's once it's snapped together with my planner, that's what I throw into my work bag, into my laptop bag, and I just stick to work. Once again, I like a simple system. I really don't. It just didn't work out for me to have the giant Kiki K or the pocket planner. The pocket planner actually ended up having um, not as much space for me to write things in. So because I spent the money on it, I'll definitely keep the two planners. I think eventually when, you know, if I, when I start a family or something and I've got a lot more things going on, I think this will actually end up being the family planner that I'll have open on a desk at home and so if we ever need to pencil in appointments for kids, and I think that's what I'm going to end up using this for. But in the meantime, I don't see myself straying from this simple system. I like it functional, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope it was it made sense um, because in my head you know that's just it just needs to be simple simple setup for me nothing elaborate so I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, very chatty planner setup I'll see you in my next video bye guys